The Great Pacific Garbage Patch The Great Pacific Garbage Patch, also described as the Pacific Trash Vortex, is a gyre of marine debris particles in the North Central Pacific Ocean. The collection of plastic and floating trash originates from the Pacific Rim, including countries in Asia, North America, and South America. The patch is actually two enormous masses of ever-growing garbage. What has been referred to as the Eastern Garbage Patch lies between Hawaii and California, while the Western Garbage Patch extends eastward from Japan to the Hawaiian Islands. An ocean current about 6,000 miles long, referred to as the subtropical convergence zone, connects both of the patches, which extend over an indeterminate area of widely varying range, depending on the degree of plastic concentration used to define the affected area. The vortex is characterized by exceptionally high relative pelagic concentrations of plastic, chemical sludge, wood pulp, and other debris trapped by the currents of the North Pacific Gyre. Despite the common public perception of the patch existing as giant islands of floating rubbish, its low density tie 4 particles per cubic meter prevents detection by satellite imagery or even by casual boaters or divers in the area this is because the patch is a widely dispersed area consisting primarily of suspended fingernail sized or smaller bits of plastic often microscopic particles in the upper w dater column Researchers from the Ocean Cleanup Project claimed that the patch covers 1.6 million square kilometers. The plastic concentration is estimated to be up to 100 kilograms per square kilometer in the center, going down to 10 kilograms per square kilometer in the outer parts of the patch. An estimated 80,000 metric tons of plastic inhabit the patch, totaling 1.8 trillion pieces, 92% of the mass in the patch comes from objects larger than 0.5 cm, while 94% of the total objects are represented by microplastics. Some of the plastic in the patch has been found to be over 50 years old, and includes fragments of an item such as plastic lighters, toothbrushes, water bottles, pens, baby bottles, cell phones, plastic bags, and nurdles. It is estimated that approximately 100 million tons of plastic are generated globally each year, and about 10% of that plastic ends up in the oceans. Research indicates that the patch is rapidly accumulating. A similar patch of floating plastic debris is found in the Atlantic Ocean, called the North Atlantic Garbage Patch. The patch was described in a 1988 paper published by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA. The description was based on research by several Alaska-based researchers in 1988 who measured neostonic plastic in the North Pacific Ocean. On 9 September 2018, the first collection system was deployed to the gyre to begin the collection task. This initial trial run of the Ocean Cleanup Project started towing its Ocean Cleanup System 001 from San Francisco to a trial site some 240 nautical miles, 260 miles away. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch formed gradually as a result of ocean or marine pollution gathered by ocean currents. It occupies a relatively stationary region of the North Pacific Ocean bounded by the North Pacific Gyre in the Horse Latitudes. The gyre's rotational pattern draws in waste material from across the North Pacific, incorporating coastal waters off North America and Japan.
As material is captured in the currents, wind-driven surface currents gradually move debris toward the center, trapping it. A 2017 study concluded that of the 9.1 billion tons of plastic produced since 1950, close to 7 billion tons are no longer in use. The authors estimate that 9% was recycled, 12% was incinerated, and the remaining 5.5 billion tons remains in the oceans and land. Estimates of size range from 700,000 square kilometers, about the size of Texas, to more than 15 million square kilometers, about the size of Russia. The United Nations Ocean Conference estimated that the oceans might contain more weight and plastics than fish by the year 2050. Some long-lasting plastics end up in the stomachs of marine animals. Plastic attracts seabirds and fish. When marine life consumes plastic allowing it to enter the food chain, this can lead to greater problems when species that have consumed plastic are then eaten by other predators. Animals can also become trapped in plastic nets and rings, which can cause death. Sea turtles are most affected by this. Cetaceans have been sighted within the patch, which poses entanglement and ingestion risks to animals using the Great Pacific Garbage Patch as a migration corridor or core habitat. Affected species include sea turtles and the black-footed albatross. Midway Atoll receives substantial amounts of marine debris from the patch. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Footprints for more videos.